Pastor, I just wanted to say thank you for uh, y'all's churches and what y'all have donated and the money and show you a little bit about what we're doing and where you're at and how close we are to, to getting this facility going. In the background, you'll notice a, a new building that's on the bottom is our educational or recreation and then on the top is apartments for some of our staff to be on staff here all the time. Well, in another building, we put on a, a, a dining room, a new dining room. We've had offices to where we're all self-contained here because everything we do is here. From their psychological to their medical to their school, their education, everything is done on facility because they can't leave. But I just wanted to show you through and show you some of the buildings, show you how close we are to getting finished. And it is a reality. This facility is is ours, it's debt free, so there's no no monthly that we have to do, it's just operational, but God has blessed us through giving from uh, organizations and churches like you have right there. And we just wanted to show you, say thank you and show you some of the facilities. This actually is the education building. This is our classroom and our craft room at this point. We have a rec room in the back and then the, a storeroom because these girls, when they come, they don't have anything. They don't have any clothes or anything. So we have to have available clothes and uh, toiletries and everything that they need. So we have to have them on staff. Upstairs, we have three apartments that will be housing our staff that we have to have here for emergency reasons because our staff works all the time. The staff doesn't sleep while the kids are sleeping. There's staff that has to be up available 24-7, checking on them every 20 minutes to make sure they're okay and make sure there's not any instances. Pastor, I wanted to add to this a little bit too. The facility and the property that we're standing on today has been pr provided miraculously for one dollar. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but that's our reality. We're standing on 58 acres of land. It's gorgeous. It's contained uh, by roads, so there's no infringement issues in the future. But 58 acres we're standing on is completely paid for and debt free. Here's the story behind this that just blows my mind. There's a barn right here behind me. That barn was built, this house was built the facilities were built before we came with the idea of rescue. The family rescued horses, they rescued cows, they rescued cats, they rescued animals, brought them onto this as a refuge to rehabilitate them and to restore them and to give them a quality of life. Can I tell you that God had a bigger plan than even to rescue animals, although that's a wonderful cause. Today we're standing on the property for Home of Hope. We're children that are being exploited that are being victimized at, at, the, at the highest level are going to find refuge here and the restorer's hands are going to be able to have a hold of them and to absolutely pour into them and to love them into a new existence in him. So I just want to say thank you for your giving, yes. for believing in Rodney and Rhonda and, this, and Phil, the entire Home of Hope executive team. I'm proud of these guys for staying the course. It's been a tough road, but look at what we are standing on and look at what's about to happen. We believe this fall, that is our target this fall, that child is going to be here. These arms are going to be around that child and restoration is going to take place. The hands of the restorer are upon us. So thank you for your giving. So here's some additional information, not just to, to see the facility, but here's, here's the reality, our present reality and the magnitude of what we're facing today. Uh, give me three reasons, first of all, why this facility is important. How many children do we know of documented last year that fall into this category? Well, last year alone, um, ICE identified over, actually they, they identified and they rescued 1,004 victims, children that were, were, were victims of human trafficking just in last year. How many beds nationally are there for those children that are being rescued? We have 300. 300 the, beds and there's 300 a thousand beds. documented and many, many, many more that were undocumented, I'm sure. Yes. How many beds in Texas do we have for this ministry? We only We only have 33 in Texas right now. Obviously, there's not enough beds for even right. the documented right. cases. And of those 300, most of those beds are already full. So we're not talking 300 empty beds waiting for those 1,000 kids. Wow. How many beds will this facility be able to offer? Twenty. Week? We have 22. 22 so additional have, beds. Right. <laughs> 22 additional beds. When this opens up, we'll go towards fighting in this. I just appreciate what you guys are doing. It's awesome. Yeah. Pastor, again, I just wanted to say thank you for everything that's been done. Your, the donations is done. It's helping out with all we're doing here. And if you're not uh, 
a monthly supporter or you're, you need more information, we'd love to be for you to be a part of this. You can go on our website, which is homeofhopetexas.org, or you can give me a call at 281-288-5529. I'd be more than willing to answer any questions. When you do go on the website, though, sign up for the newsletter. That's where we keep everybody up to date on the progress when we do open the girls' progress and things like that. I appreciate everything you've done, and thank you so much, and God bless you.